All right, chess day. So actually kind of pinched on time here today. So I've got no more than 45 minutes. I got to blast this out. So chest and triceps. So this is what I do when I don't have a lot of time. One of the easiest ways for me to cut things down is just to simplify it. A lot of times I'll even just do one exercise for more sets or make the sets harder doing things like uh, you know, whether it's a drop set or maybe rest pause method to really maximize each of those sets. There's this idea that we have to come into a workout like chess and do 12 to 16 sets using three to four exercises for it to be an effective workout. And that's not true. Yes, you need diversity or variety in exercises, but that can be over the course of a month. It doesn't mean that every single workout you have to hit the muscle from all these different angles. So what I'm gonna do here, Start this clock. So I got my flex timer there. It is about to start here any second. Just make sure. I'm using this just to keep an eye on the time. I got a conference call I can't miss. There we go. I'm going to grab this bench here. <clears throat> and I'm going to blast out dumbbell chest presses today. And so do a combination of what I was just saying. Try to maximize the effectiveness of every set by either doing a rest pause or, you know, in some cases, like I said, I do drop sets, go to a lighter and lighter weight. I, maybe we'll do a combination of both, but with that being said, let me jump into this. I'm already warmed up, got the rotator cuff uh, exercises in, so Definitely recommend you do that before jumping into chest. Never want to do it cold. So we're going to start with just a basic flat bench. And we'll see how it goes. So I've had some shoulder issues. So I've been trying to take it really easy on this stuff, so I don't want to get too crazy, but let's see what happens here. Make it a little harder by really controlling our rep speed. Nice and controlled. Definitely bumps up the intensity, bumps up the time under tension. Shake it off here for a second. Rest, pause. See if we can get a couple more. I actually felt pretty good. Here we go. Four. Nice. So, didn't feel too bad. I'll probably go up a little, a little bit here. That ended up being 12 plus 4, so 16 reps. I'd rather maybe stick in that, maybe get like 10 good clean ones. Then squeeze in another two to three more. So stretch out. I'm gonna keep a rest period short. That's obviously one way to condense a workout, make it quicker. So just enough of a rest period to stretch out. Grab your water, catch your breath, and go again. But 
When you actually have a timer set, you notice time goes by quick. All right. Let's see how these feel. The only thing I don't like about these, as opposed to round dumbbells, can't really just kick them and let them roll over there. And whenever possible, if I don't have to tweak my back, picking these things up more than necessary, Alrighty. There we go. in control. Uh, what? That was only eight. It's okay. So get a few more here. <sighs> nice. Doesn't feel too bad, especially considering I've been mainly doing just a lot of bands and really light dumbbell work, which we're gonna do some up here. <sighs> All right, let's get a couple more. Let's see if I can get one more. Nice. All right. So what I'm going to do now, stick to the flat bench. All I'm going to do is go lighter now, more control, a little slower rep speed, both the eccentric and the concentric, focus on a little bit of a light stretch at the bottom, just focus on really good mind-muscle connection, actively contracting that muscle, trying to get that... Good squeeze at the top. You want to use a little bit lighter weight. Allows you to focus more. So that was nice. Moved a little bit of weight. Now I'm going to drop down significantly. Actually, let me stretch out real quick. So we're... Seven minutes, 45 seconds in. So when I have days like this, when I feel pinched on time, or you know, maybe not feeling it, or you start telling yourself, oh, I don't have enough time to get a good workout. No, there's always time. Just make the most of what time you have. Just simplify it. Doesn't mean less intensity, it just means simple. All right. So I'm gonna go, now that's a little lighter, a little bit wider with the elbows. Controlled though, 
Get a little bit of nice stretch there at the bottom. Get that good length tension relationship in the muscle. Get a very strong contraction. And then very controlled concentrics. Control the eccentrics nice and smooth at the bottom on that transition between the two. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. We'll rest, pause, we'll get a few more. Now the recipe doesn't look that much different. It's exaggerated slightly, but what's making this harder is getting out wider. And that's really what's bumping the intensity up on these. And you'll really feel that light stretch on the outside of the chest. Here we go. Good stuff. <sighs> 10 minutes in. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I was gonna stop at three sets. I'm gonna do one more. Let's make the most of this one. Ah. Now, if you've been following along with a lot of the stuff, with bands only, because a lot of people know that I like training with bands. We do the same stuff with bands. So be my guest, follow along, grab a set of bands and set of dumbbells. All right. Stretch out. We'll jump back into it. I'm actually feeling good right now. Yeah, it's a good chest workout already, but I'm feeling good that I'm in it because just 12 minutes ago, I didn't want to be here. I think we all have those days. Lately, I've been having a lot of those. Seems like the last couple of weeks, they've been stacking up on me, those kind of days, but still in here. And that's really what matters most. Let's figure out how to get it in. Here we go. Shake it off, try to get a couple more. Nice, that's four sets, 
13 minutes in. Think about that. Even if you took two minute rest with the four sets, so that's the three rest periods in between, that'd be six minutes. That'd be half of our time just sitting around doing nothing and resting. So got to shorten those rest periods if you want to keep the workout short and bump up the intensity. I'm going to stay here, but I'm going to put this at a slight angle. We are going to do some flies. The way that I like doing these, I don't want to go too low. You want just a little bit of a stretch, but it doesn't need to be exaggerated. There's no sense putting that extra wear and tear on your shoulder, all that connective tissue. So just a slight stretch, but I like to squeeze and bring those pinkies together each rep. So we don't need to go heavy with these. Focus more on just good control. I'm going to start here, see how many I can do. If it ends up being a little light, that's okay. Just get a few more reps. can even slow down the rep speed a little more too. All right. So here's my starting position right here. Nice light stretch on the outside of the chest. <clears throat> Squeeze it. And when I squeeze the dumbbells together, just for a second, literally pressing them in to one another to get, get that extra isometric squeeze in the chest. This isn't too light at all. So one thing that ends up burning a lot of time in a workout is switching between exercises. You know, setting up on a different piece of equipment, especially if you have to wait for it, that's even worse. So keeping everything centered right here, just allowing me to keep this going faster. We're only 17 minutes in. Honestly, I'm shooting for a half hour, see if I can give myself a little extra time to get ready for that call instead of cutting it so close. Now doing that little squeeze makes this a lot harder for me anyway than just coming in here to the center. Makes it a little harder, I also feel a stronger contraction, which is why I prefer it. But, you know, try it for yourself. Try different angles. If we're all built a little bit different, key is finding out what works for you. Ah, uh, nice. 
is. So that was eight reps the first set, eight reps this one. I'm gonna do two more sets of these. See how we feel from there. Man, get it in, get it in, get it done. Oh yeah, it's really easy to get bogged down with overly complex workouts. And when you're already in one of those moods where you're just not feeling it, whatever's going on, you start overthinking that workout, it's too easy to just say, fuck it, I'm not gonna do it today. And trust me, I was that fucking close to saying that. But the reason I'm here is accountability. You know, I committed to doing these videos, which is kind of why I did this in the first place. It's being a little bit selfish, to be honest with you, is to hold myself accountable, especially for days like this. So, when it comes to consistency, which is rule number one, it trumps everything for results over technique, over everything, consistency. If you want to be consistent, you have to find a way to create that accountability for yourself. Hold yourself accountable. All right, 20 minutes, 21. One more set of these. I already have a pretty good pump though, feeling good. Let's do it. Seven, eight, good stuff. So I could probably stop right there for chest and transition to triceps. We're at 23 minutes, but I'm gonna do a press that uses a little bit more triceps. So maybe let's do two sets of that before we transition into our triceps isolation movement. Actually, I'll be honest with you. We don't even have to do triceps isolation. We can continue doing some compound movements and presses and just do a narrow grip. And that way we're knocking out two birds with one stone. That is one of the advantages of compound movements after all. Ideally, I do like to incorporate isolation movements 
into all my workouts, but you don't have to. It's what I started off this whole conversation with in the beginning, you know, what's more important is getting that balance and getting that variation exercises and hitting it from different angles within, let's say three, four workouts, but it doesn't have to be every single workout. So, with that said, we are going to do one of my favorite chest presses. We are going to be squeezing these dumbbells together. And as we're doing that, we're getting a good solid contraction in the chest. It's not just the press, but it's the squeezing the dumbbells together, the entire range of motion. But because we're going with this narrow grip, we're also getting a lot of movement there at the elbow, which means we're also using triceps as well. So let me see how this feels. It might be a little too light, but you can always go up. <clears throat> Key is smashing those dumbbells into each other. Hard squeeze. So if I was just pressing those without the squeeze, it'd be easy. Those would be super light and I could just bang those out. What makes it hard is squeezing them against each other. All right, 26 minutes. I think we can blast out two to three more of these sets and call it a day. I can tell you, I always used to feel this obligation just to have these crazy long workouts, hour 45 minute workouts, and just destroying a muscle group with all this volume. And eventually I smartened up and realized you don't need to do all that. And sometimes it's overkill. As the saying goes, I say it all the time, stimulate, not annihilate. Good. It's amazing what you can get done in a short period of time when you're not bullshitting, you're not sitting on your phone, not sitting on a bench resting. Well, the reality is when I was young, I had a bunch of extra time. And being in the gym for two hours was fun for me. But then there comes a point where you got other shit you got to get done in a day and you don't have time to be in the 
gym that long. The good news is you don't have to. All right, here we go. It's gonna be our last one. We'll do the rest pause at the end, see if we can squeeze a couple more reps. more. on the clock look at that 30 minutes 20 seconds that's a wrap we're done for the day i'll see you back here tomorrow we do back and buys hopefully we have a little more time